Hi, Dr. Wright again, uh, Walnut Creek Animal Hospital, and we're discussing the uh, working dog first aid um, and working on hemorrhage control now. So we discussed uh, placing a tourniquet, now we're looking at uh, dealing with chest wounds in these dogs. And obviously there's different severities of chest wounds, minor punctures to, you know, a gaping wound where ribs have been broken. Um, ultimately, when we're dealing with something where lung tissue is exposed or we have, you know, massive amount of hemorrhage through there, we've got to try to get compression over this area some way and be able to maintain that compression in this area with some type of bandage. And so the first thing with any type of open wound that's, a, you know, a sucking sort of wound, um, we want to try to seal that up the best that we can. These are called high fin vents and they work, they're, uh, a um, entry exit wound closure for application in humans and ultimately they work pretty well uh, on the dog because they have a, an enormous amount of sticky material on them on the plastic um, which will stick to the hair fairly well to help press and close but uh, anyways whenever you remove that you peel the thing apart and um, you want to try to center the hole of that towards the center of the wound where the wound might be and then compress that the best that you can. The next thing we're going to attempt to do is to put some type of thick padding material, either cotton, gauze, um, dish towel, your shirt wadded up, whatever you have available, um, and then start with some type of compressive material uh, like that wrap. The first wrap will be over completely over to hold the bandage. Now, to keep it in place, we're going to go in front of the leg and back between, and then across and over again, and then make one more loop pass between the front legs and come back across this chest. And so hopefully we've applied enough compression and you can tighten this as you apply it um, to keep putting more and more compression on that wound and hopefully we can seal that entry exit hole or apply enough compression to control some massive hemorrhage and then get him out of you know the area in which he's been injured and and to veterinary care where this type of wound can be addressed even further so we'll move on to the next one which will be abdominal